We know that neural nets represent words as embeddings, but where do those embeddings come from? There are special neural net architectures devoted to this problem. Let's walk through a word-to-vec neural net that will learn how to represent words as high-dimensional vectors. Keep in mind that there are many ways to do this, so this is just one example. Like any good neural net, we start with an input layer. We can use a one-hot encoding here, so we need one input node for every word in our vocabulary. We'll fully connect this layer to one node for every dimension in our desired embedding. For example, if we want 10 dimensional embeddings, the next layer will have 10 nodes. This layer is often called the projection layer, or the embedding layer, and it's where we will learn our embeddings. Know that we don't need an activation function on this layer. After this embedding layer, we can use a fully connected hidden layer with some kind of activation function to further process the data. And finally, our output layer will look just like our input layer, one node for every word in the vocabulary. This will use a softmax function to normalize our output. Now that we have our neural net, how do we train it? Given a word, we're going to try to predict what other words appear in the same context. We'll process a big body of text, like every English language novel on Project Gutenberg, or all the articles on English language Wikipedia, into input-output pairs. The input will be a word in the text, and the output, the value we're trying to predict, will be a nearby word within the same sentence. These input-output pairs are called skipgrams. The more skipgrams we generate, the better our model, but the longer it will take to train. After training, the weights between the first and second layer of the network will be our embedding matrix. That is, to find the embedding of a word, just stack all of the weights for that word into a vector. The resulting vectors will have fewer dimensions than our one-hop representations and will encode information about the meaning of the words. One result of this is that similar words tend to be closer together in vector space. For example, embeddings for sale and ship will likely be near each other, whereas how will likely be far away. Note, this simple network was not designed for performance and will require a lot of time and memory to train. To learn more about optimizing embedding architectures for performance, check out the resources below.